folks, welcome to Powder. Welcome to the backstage. The Toyota Juggernaut inside is going to become a supernova explosion because they are going to unveil a creation. Well, that is the modern day rendition of a Toyota new age car. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a creation that you and I already want to buy. The Innova High Cross. The High Cross can look inwards and it is genuine. In it, you will look forward to do your intra and intercity office commutes and vacations. The High Cross on the outside, because of its mixed design, looks like an SUV. But what it really is on the inside, it's a business class seat of a luxury airline. All right, so the comfort of a business lounge powered back, you're gonna get captain seats, of course, in the top in variant, powered window, the window blinds just to ensure that you have your own privacy seats but then you got this leg support here what they are calling as ottoman comfort captain seats the third row seat is also reclinable seat so you can have three people in comfort one because the platform allows for the car to be wider and the third person here also gets dedicated headrest and a three-point seat belt and i hope you can look at the pretty looking dash here dual tone dash with a 10.1 inch infotainment touchscreen display the driver mid is 7 inch wireless charging is right about here and then of course the front seats here are ventilated there's not much time remaining for the cars to be standing here on the stage when you take the driver's seat in the high cross you're going to be pressing the engine start stop button here a push start and then of course going to be driving for thousand kilometers all the way without having to stop for petrol because this is a strong hybrid delivering 21 kilometers to the liter from the two liter petrol engine now the two liter petrol engine that comes with high variant or the two liter petrol engine without hybrid both are going to be coupled with a CVT automatic transmission. There's going to be no manual here at all. And in terms of horsepower, you're going to get about 186, 187, 190 horses on the strong hybrid one, 0 to 100 in 10 seconds, which means that the car here is not going to feel under par. Ventilated seats, climate control in the front and the back, paddle shifters, power tailgate, and connected car tech features. And for the first ever time on an Innova, a sunroof. Oh yes, I know what you've been looking out. I've been looking out the same thing, a huge panoramic sunroof that is going to make things really lively here inside the cabin. And then of course, you're also going to be treated to a surround sound of nine speakers uh, by JBL. What is really cracking on the new High Cross is the fact that the car now comes with safety suite system, which is ADAS. Now Toyota simply calls it Toyota Safety Sense. Of course, that comes along with six airbags. I wouldn't worry about mile munching in this car. What is it at all that you will need to worry about? Let's find out. The High Cross surprisingly gets no driver knee airbag like the Krista does and does not get a heads up display like the High Rider does. Small little miss out is TPMS, tire pressure monitoring system, but then you do get that as an accessory. Without price perspective, it's hard to tell whether these are real misses. Okay, so we see that the High Cross comes equipped or rather shot with Goodyear Triple Max 2 tyres, 18-inch wheels here, 225, 50, R18. Of course, the base variants could also possibly be getting 16 and 17-inch wheels. Now, the ground clearance for the High Cross is pretty much the same as the Innova Crista, which is then about 175 millimetres. From the back here, it ends up looking very ravishing, like the RAV4. At times, it looks like the Toyota Highlander from the Middle East. And of course, it's a very pretty looking car. So overall, to summarize how it looks, it looks like an Innova wearing the same T-shirt, but then has a different waistline and wears a muscular bell-bottom denims down below. Now, if you want a diesel variant of the High Cross, you can go home and thankfully so, because who really wanted the whole DEF nonsense going on, where you had to keep adding add blue fluid uh, as you drove the car. Here, you're only going to have petrol variant, one hybrid powertrain and two non-hybrid powertrain, both in automatic gearboxes. So now, I called it a supernova explosion because the non-hybrid is going to have two variants, hybrid ones is going to have three variants, so the High Cross is going to come all the way in five variants. 462 outlets for Toyota, 40% of their reach extends all the way to tier 3 cities. It's going to be available for private buyers as well as for fleet owners. The top in variant of the High Cross is going to be just under 30 lakh rupees is our bet. And then the base variant is going to be just under 20 lakh rupees. Thanks a lot for watching Powerdrift. We are going to be doing that what is missing here today. 
today, which is we are going to be headed to Bangalore very soon in a couple of days. That's where we get behind the steering wheel of the strong hybrid and then the non-hybrid high cross. Let us know what you thought about the car in the comment section below. Goodbye.